What's up guys and welcome back to Everything Gaming and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to complete all four of this week's Falls of Thon challenges in which you can win the Jaguar XJ220 Horizon Edition which is a very cool car. I know we've seen it a few times but anywho let's get stuck into it. Uh, so the first challenge wants you to complete any co-op event to receive 75,000 credits. Next one wants you to complete a race in a Class A car to win the Jaguar XJ220 HE. Third one wants you just to win a race to receive three wheel spins. And the final one here just wants you to perform a drift tap in an bath to earn 60,000 XP. So without further ado, let's get stuck into the first challenge here, which only wants you to complete any co-op event to win 75,000 credits. So what you want to do is go over to your social tab here and then click, click on co-op campaign uh, and join a co-op co uh, online session. Now obviously all you have to do is complete a race in this so it can be any form of race uh, including a head-to-head -head, which is what I'm about to show you here. It can be done in any car it does not matter uh, so in this instance uh, the person in my session the other person uh, challenged me to a head-to-head -head, but you can also challenge them obviously it really doesn't matter um, and the best thing to do is to absolutely obliterate them of course um, it's really really not that hard at all you can jump in a session with a friend um, I like I said previously don't have many of those so I just jump in with random people um, but apart from that it's very very simple and very very easy it won't take you that long the hardest part of this is actually finding someone that will actually happily race you in a co-op session <laughs> so that's the only ball lake and downside to this challenge but apart from that it's very very easy and very simple if you want to do it quick I recommend jumping on board with a friend anyway here's the third or the second and third challenge um, now the third challenge only wants you to win a race for three wheel spins so if you won the co-op event you would have completed it now if not you can complete it at the same time as the second challenge here which just wants you to complete a race in a class A car to win the Jaguar XJ220 so obviously what you want to start doing is filtering your cars to just A class uh, and then pick one that you're comfortable racing in that you feel is your most powerful A-class car. It really does not matter what one it is, just so long as it is A-class. So I went for my Fiat Dino 2.4 Coupe, uh, purely because I've raced it before a few times A-class and it's a good car. Um, of course, I go to the highway circuit one lap very very quick very very easy like i said if you didn't win the race in the co-op event but you win this one you will complete the third challenge uh, but of course if you won the race in the first co-op challenge you would have completed challenges one and three uh, very very easily so the third challenge really is doesn't really matter here i'm sure that all of you guys will win this race at least anyway uh, which will be very very simple because obviously you'll pick your fastest a class car that you're most comfortable in but very very simple very easy all you have to do to win the jaguar xj220 he is complete or win a race sorry uh, in an a class car so it's a very simple very quick challenge to win a horizon edition car won't take you more than two minutes uh, the last challenge here wants you to perform a drift tap in an above to earn 60,000 xp now do not worry this is not as hard as it may seem sound uh, i know drift taps can be fairly tricky in general but here's what i suggest first of all pick a bath fiat 131 um, purely because it's a bit longer than the fiat the bath 500 um, now i created a tune for this it's called top a bath drift uh, you can find it by searching for creators or my gamer tag which is stezza01 now i've tuned this just purely for drifting so i mean tuned it not just slap some mods on it and left it at that i've actually gone in depth and tuned it and of course i'm sure some of you have seen my tuning guide now back to basics a drift tap is basically where you tap a wall or another car for instance whilst performing a drift as you can see there it's not that hard at all all you need to do is one in and a bath um, it's fairly simple now the easiest place is as soon as you come out of um your horizon festival just doing it here so as you can see i'm doing it in the outback one because there's plenty of walls you know it's sort of circular sh uh, shaped with lots of bends in it so it's very very quick and very very easy now the other thing you do need to know about drift taps is you cannot get them in quick succession uh, because people used to glitch it basically so they get obviously 6,000 points per drift tap uh, so turn 10 sort of patch that so that you can only get a drift tap skill once every 30 or 40 seconds so you will have to wait you can't get it in rapid succession constantly uh, but anyway guys i hope that this was a very helpful guide for you at least for the final challenge i know that to win the jags a very quick and easy challenge uh, but a massive thank you for everyone's support i hope you enjoyed this and i hope it helped you out please do subscribe and drop, drop a like if you enjoyed it and it helped you but apart from that a massive thank you and good luck completing this week's thoughts of fun thank you very much guys